And good morning, everyone. Welcome into another edition of Sports Medicine Weekly on this Saturday morning. Steve Cashel and Dr. Brian Cole. I'm the Bulls radio host. Dr. Cole, Cole, of course, is the head team physician for the Chicago Bulls, one of the team physicians for the Chicago White Sox, sports medicine specialist, orthopedic surgeon, Midwest Orthopedics at Rush. Dr. Cole, how are you this morning? I'm doing great, Steve. Great to see you. Good. We're going to start talking about... uh, Midwest Orthopedics at Rush, where you work, and I know it's a world leader in minimally evasive outpatient surgery and quite an accomplishment for one of your doctors. Uh, you know, let me just first qualify it, but when I was a resident and we would do a hip or a knee replacement, patients would generally be in the hospital between five and seven days. Really? And it was heroic if you could get the patient out within three days. They were typically getting blood transfusions. It was just, it was a whole, they'd come in the night before. They get pre-op the night before, sleep at the hospital, and then we would fill the whole day with joint replacements, and they'd stay three to five, sometimes seven days. Wow. And the complication rate was, you know, was was higher. Now I will tell you that, you know, at Midwest Orthopedics, a rush uh, where I would really say that outpatient, I would say minimally invasive surgery in the realm of joint replacement, but outpatient surgery the same day is was a real milestone. So we're proud to have my partner, uh, this morning, Dr. Richard Berger, who, uh, as I understand it, he can clarify, recently completed his 10,000th minimally invasive outpatient joint replacement surgery. Lots more minimally invasive surgeries, maybe twice that, but 10,000 outpatient joint replacement surgeries. So, uh, Dr. Berger, Rich, uh, thanks for joining us this morning. Great to have you. Well, Steve and Brian, thank you so much for that really nice introduction. Yes, it's a great honor to be with you. And yes, it's my 10,000th, but I just completed at the end of last year. So a couple of weeks ago, my 10,000th outpatient joint replacement. And yeah, like you mentioned, when I was doing my residency about the same time, about 25 years ago, patients stayed in the hospital for five, six, seven, sometimes even 10, even 10 days. That was the norm. You know, we made a great big incision. We cut everything and patients had a lot of pain and a lot of dysfunction. We had to get them through their pain, teach them how to walk again which took you know, five or seven days, and then they finally got out of the hospital. So about 20 years ago, I started to wonder if there's a better way of doing joint replacement, that is without cutting the muscles, ligaments, and tendons, minimally invasive joint replacement. Everyone said I was crazy at the time, and I probably was, but I spent about two years developing some instruments, developing some surgical techniques, practiced on a bunch of cadavers, and uh, 18 years ago, did my first minimally invasive hip replacement. And the patients felt so good right away without cutting the muscles, ligaments, and tendons that they were ready to go home almost right away. In fact, some of them felt so good a couple hours after surgery, they said, why do I need to stay in the hospital? And I said, well, you don't. And those patients walked out of the hospital. We took that same technique after practicing a little bit on knees with cadavers, and we started doing it in knee replacements about two years later. Since then, as you said, I probably did about uh, 17,000 minimally invasive surgeries, and now 10,000 of those went home the day of surgery. So they have less pain and a much quicker and a much fuller recovery. It's amazing how things have changed. Visiting with Dr. Richard Berger, hip and knee replacement specialist, orthopedic surgeon, Midwest Orthopedics at Rush, just completing recently his 10,000th minimally invasive outpatient joint replacement surgery. It's amazing, Dr. Cole, how these things have changed, right? Yeah, I would say that one of the most exciting things about orthopedics is that it's been said that our body of knowledge changes, uh, doubles every five years, you know? So when you think about it, just, and that's one of the things why we're all so passionate about what we do. I can tell you, Rich, and he can speak for himself, probably spends a couple of months a year traveling and teaching. And, you know, that's sort of all academic philanthropy, if you will. We spend, you know, we spend a lot of our time trying to teach others how to make the field better. And just, you know, the te- it's, and it's very technique-driven. Rich, have, would you say that things have changed uh, it, significantly over the last 10 years or so, or are you pretty much doing it very similar as to when you started? No, we're constantly improving. You know, the patients who we did, you know, back when we first started 18 years ago, they recovered quickly and well, but the patients now are so much quicker. In fact, now at this point, from the time we finish the surgery till the time the patient goes home in their car is about two hours. And now I have patients who are literally, literally going back to work that afternoon. That is, that's crazy, but 
that happens, but it's pretty routine that patients are back to their desk job in five to seven days, back working. You know, it used to be that they were off for months and months and months, had a very slow recovery. Now they're back to work, recover really quick, and this opens up joint replacement to a whole new group of people, younger people who can't afford to time off, can't afford to have months and months and months of not taking care of their family, can now, instead of taking vacation to Disney World, come to Rush, have outpatient surgery, and go back to work a week later. Some people, in fact, don't even tell their work they're having surgery. They just come back a week later after vacation, walking fine, out of pain, and are back working. Great stuff. Dr. Berger, out of time. Congratulations on your uh, wonderful accomplishment, and uh, I love the way you explain it. It's great stuff. It's amazing how science has come uh, this far. Thank you for having me. Dr. Richard Berger from Midwest Orthopedics at Rush.